Welcome to Networking with Fish YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about Sharkfest 2018 that was held, just held in the United States at the Computer History Museum at the end of June. What is Sharkfest? Well, first let's talk about what Wireshark is. So if you're a geek and if the upper left-hand corner and all that red looks familiar to you, that is the beautiful tool called Wireshark. For me, I absolutely love Wireshark and have since before when it was ethereal. Um, actually, my first foray into traffic analysis uh, tools like this was with the WNG DA30, I think, back in the 1990s. It was bulky, but I could go onto a customer site and I could connect it in and I could find out what was really happening on the wire because sometimes GUIs lie. Even CLI output lies. But, but the wire never lies. This is what's really happening between the end devices. I use it very, very much and have used it very, very much for learning. Actually, I used it heavily uh, for learning BGP so that I could actually see what happens in the conversation. It's like listening into someone's conversation. So I could read about BGP, do a packet capture of two devices coming up from a BGP perspective, see what they exchange. Hi, how are you? Here's an open message. Oh, thank you. Here's my updates. And all that kind of stuff. And so you can see it. And once I can see the flow, I have it. That's the way I learn. So I actually use Wireshark extensively for troubleshooting, for learning, and also for teaching. It is my multi-go-to tool. So it makes complete sense that since I have loved Wireshark and Ethereal prior to that for many, many years, I think back in 2000, 13 or 2012, I went for the Wireshark certification. And that was actually very hard, I'll tell you that. But I've always been very passionate about it. So to say that I've wanted to go to Sharkfest would be obviously an understatement. And as years have passed, I've had a number of friends talk very highly about Sharkfest. And to the point where I thought they were actually exaggerating about what it was like and, and how it felt there. And I thought, well, maybe that's just because of the fact that they were instructors. The people that I was talking to were instructors. Well, that's because you're in the cool kids club, you're an instructor, so no wonder it felt so cool and hip to you. But what would it feel like as an attendee? I went as an attendee. Uh, I was very excited, actually, this, these are all the instructors. And over here on the left, that's Jasper. Jasper is, very cool. Uh, met him a while ago, and he helped uh, me figure out and, and get to Sharkfest, which was very cool. So thank you, Jasper. I also got to spend a lot more time with Jasper. Um, we'd met before, but not extensive time frame. And he was just as cool, just as sweet, and just as fantastic as I had always thought. So Jasper, I will say, is just brilliant. And the beautiful thing about Jasper's brilliance is he really wants to share what he has learned with you as an attendee. And I got that feeling very strong. All he wants to do is just pass the information on to you. So if you're interested in some really, really geeky stuff, I would suggest PacketFoo.com because Jasper rocks. Now, Jasper introduced me to somebody else who I completely hit it off with the first day. So thank you, Jasper, for introducing me to Betty. This is Betty, also one of the instructors at Sharkfest and also extremely super cool. Now, of course, as many of you all know, I fancy myself as a network detective. So you can understand that when I saw that she also fancies herself as a network detective, we bonded instantly. It was just great. So when I went there, and I will say that whenever I go to a conference, I usually do suggest to people that they find someone who has gone before them at the conference and explain what it is they're looking for and do some proper due diligence. 
and then kind of sort of lean on other people as to what they potentially advise as they're the subject matter experts of the conference because they've been there for so many times before. And so actually what ended up happening was Jasper and Betty helped me figure out what sessions I should go to. I had a one day session, full day session uh, that I paid extra for so that I could go to detecting malware for an entire day, which was very cool. And then there's three full days of Shark Fest uh, classes. Each of them is about, I think, an hour and a half or something along those lines. And there are three different sessions happening at the same time. So it's really hard because you want to go to all of them. But again, what I would do is I would talk to somebody, explain to them what it is you're looking for. So I did that with Jasper and Betty, and they helped me figure out what sessions I should go to. Now, I went to this Shark Fest over a month ago, and I actually gave time between doing this summary YouTube um, then and now. I think if I had done it then, I'd still be kind of sort of super hyped. I had this huge adrenaline rush, and when I came back, huge adrenaline rush. And, and I wanted to just give it some time. And was it the adrenaline rush that was just so much fun, or, or was it really Shark Fest? And you know what? It was really Shark Fest. Shark Fest as a conference was really neat. Um, I say that, and I don't know if it's because of the fact that Wireshark itself is open source. And so because it's open source, Wireshark is better because of all the people working to make it better. And so I don't know if it's that open source mentality or if it's because the people who run SharkFest try to really guide a very birds of a feather, let's all share information together. But whatever it is, when you go to a session and you sit there, all the sessions that I went to, it was like the instructors really wanted us to get it, you know? And, and a lot of them, I mean, it was cool because a lot of these people didn't, didn't know me from Cisco Live, right? Uh, a lot of people don't know me from Adam. And I'm just, I'm just in their audience and asking questions. And the, the expression on their face and they're trying to get across to me, well, this is what you have to do. And I asked people if I could, if I could get their profiles uh, so that I can see how different people actually do different um, views and shifts. And everyone was just so openly wanting to share uh, and, and, and also learn from other people as well. I think that's really the beauty of Wireshark as well is so many people, even the subject matter experts, even the instructors were actually still learning from each other because everyone uses it so differently. And, you know, a lot of the instructors, they didn't know I was going to do a YouTube on this or that I was going to, you know, or that in a small little world over in Cisco Live, I have name recognition in a itty bitty tiny little, tiny little corner of the world. I was just an attendee in their class. And I really, I really respect that. And I think every attendee that goes to Shark Fest would, would feel that. And so I think all my friends that have talked so highly about it it's really kind of cool. What Betty said in a class that she taught was that your first time at Shark Fest, you're a guest. Your second time at Shark Fest, you're family. And I can really see that. The, the feeling of the conference is a feeling that I, I, I haven't been, uh, at, I haven't felt at other conferences. And I have been to conferences that are smaller than Shark Fest, and I still didn't feel those. I have gone to some one-day conferences, and there's still that, um, you know, I'm the instructor, I'm up here, um, I'm going to talk down to you, or I'm going to do this, and then there's this, still this kind of sort of mentality of, 
um, who the elite are or who the um, the most famous people are there. And and there's still that that it, that doesn't happen here. It, it it was the coolest thing. So what do I mean by that? So Gerald Combs. I met Gerald Combs. I just well okay. I met Gerald Combs because Jasper said, would you like a picture of Gerald Combs? And I'm like, well, duh, of course I would. And, you know, Gerald was just so cool. He was just right there. And while he's mentioned in Wikipedia and he, like, started the whole ethereal thing and he's, well, Gerald Combs, he's just Gerald. And that was just so cool. And, uh, and then... There was one person that I was really, really nervous about, and I've always wanted to meet her. I think it's because of the fact that I have read so many of her books. I have joined uh, the uh, on-demand subscription for a website she has and have watched recordings. Laura Chappelle. Laura Chappelle's teaching style, whether it is in person or in a recording or even in a textbook, her her Wireshark books are probably my absolute favorite books to learn from. Uh, Yes, I will admit there have been, when I was studying for the exam, there were two pages, and I think it took me five hours to go through just two pages. But that's because of the fact that she has you pull down PCAP files and then go through them and give you assignments as you're doing it. Her style of teaching is, to me, second to none and works perfectly to me. And I have actually used a lot of her um, techniques and what I have seen, the way that she teaches that works for me, and I've incorporated them into my teaching style. So if you've never been to Shark Fest and if you love Wireshark, go. It's incredible. And I hope that I'm lucky enough to go back there again. Have a great day. Networking with Fish, and I'm out.